Hi, this is Srinivas. Today we will see the divisibility condition by 16, 17, 18 and 19. See first of all by 16. If the last four digits of a number is divisible by sixteen then the whole number is divisible by 16. See, if the last four digits of your number is divisible by 16, then the whole number is divisible by 16. See an example. See, this example, we will check it uh, whether that this uh, the last four digits of your number is divisible by 16 or not. Say. So, 3216 is divisible by 16. So, the whole number is always divisible by 16. You can check it. Take three two zero forty two and take one six one. So the whole number is divisible by sixteen. It means that if the last four digits of your number is divisible by sixteen, then the whole number is divisible by sixteen. Okay. All right. Next year, seventeen divisibility by seventeen. See, take the units place digit. Multiply that digit by five, subtract the value from the remaining truncated value, remaining truncated value. Okay. If the value of the resultant number is divisible by seventeen, then the whole number is divisible by 7. See, let me check it. See, take the units example. With the help of example, we can uh, explain it. 
Say, take this one example. Take the units place digit 9, multiply that digit by 5, 9 into 5, subtract the value from the remaining truncated value. What is the remaining truncated value? This is 28. So, 28 minus 9 into 5, 45. So, subtract this one, you will get it minus 70. We know that uh, 17 is divisible by, minus 17 is divisible by 17, so minus 1. So, it means uh, 289 is always divisible by 70, okay. So, like that you can check it, whether this number is divisible by, and one more thing you have to keep it. You have to follow the procedure again and again till you get the small number. Okay? Suppose if you get this value is bigger, then you have to do again and again till you get the small number, right? You check it one more. Suppose you take this number, okay, what our condition is, take the units plus digit, see 1728 minus 9 into 5, so 1728 minus 45, so 8 minus 5, 3, 12 minus 4, 8, 6, 1, 6. See again we got 1683. This is just bigger number. Then do the same procedure. This is 168 minus units plus digit is 3. 3 into 5, 15. Subtract that one. 8, 5 minus, 8 minus 5, 3. 6 minus 1, 5. See. Again do it. The unit plus digit is 3. So 15 minus 3 into 5. So 15. 3 into 5. So 15. So 15 minus 15, how much? 0. So 0 is always divisible by 17. It means uh, the whole number is always divisible by 17. You can check it. 17 1 0, 28, 17 1 17, 8 minus 7, 1, 2 minus 1, 1, 9. 17 7 ja, 1, 1. So it means the whole number is divisible by 70. It means uh, you have to follow the procedure till you get the small value, right? That is a condition. And uh, the next is by 18. Divisibility condition by 18. See, if a number is divisible by 2 and 9 both, then the whole number is divisible by by what is 18 okay so if a number is divisible by 2 and 9 both then the whole number is divisible by 18 but we know that what is the condition of 2 how can we say that if a number is divisible by 2 so if the last digit i mean units plus digit is a multiple of 2 then we can say that uh, automatically the given number is divisible by 2 and what about 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9 then we can say that the whole number is divisible by 9 itself right we will take it see 5 4 5 4 you take it so this is divisible by 2 and add those uh, digits 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 this is how much 18 18 is divisible by 18 so this number is always divisible by 18 see
Okay. So we can check it with the help of uh, this condition. So if a number is divisible by both two and nine, we can say that the whole number is divisible by eighty. Okay. See one word small number. You take it three to four. Okay. We know that uh, this is divisible by two and uh, check it three plus two. 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 is divisible by 9. So, this 324 is divisible by 18. Eighteen, 8, 8, 144. So, this number is divisible by 18. Right? Next, 19. See what is the divisibility condition by 19. Take the units place digit and multiply by 2 and add up. the value to the truncated value if the resultant value is divisible by 19 then the whole number is divisible by by 90. See, we will check it. We take small number 171. So, what is the condition? Take the units plus digit 182. So, 17 plus 2. So, add this value to the truncated value. This is units plus is it and the remaining truncated value is 17. So, 17 plus 1 into 2, this is 19. We know that 19 is divisible by 9. 171 is 19. So, 171 is always divisible by 19. See? Okay. 19, 9 is done. Okay. 170. So, if it is a big number also, you can check it uh, till you get uh, the small number. So, you have to suppose if you get the more number, then you have to do again and again till you get the small number. So, if that uh, the resultant value is divisible by 7, 19, so then the whole number is divisible by 19, right? That is about uh, the divisibility condition of uh, 19. If you follow this procedure, you can check whether the given number is divisible by 19 or not, 17 by 17 or not, 18 or not. So if you make those conditions perfectly, you can check it whether the given number is divisible by the given divisor. Right? So I hope you understood well. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to it and watch on our channel for more videos alearningroom.com and www.alearningroom.com Thank you very much.